You've been training for months, you've done the intervals, you've done the ramp test, you've done the races, and now finally you see your FTP climb up. But what if I told you that that number is a lie? Most people just hop on Swift and start riding. If you are in dual recording, you could be losing 5 or even 10 watts every single training or worse. So your smart trainer is over reporting, meaning that what is actually in real life is way lower than actually what you perform on Swift. But today, after the last week FTP fails, I'm going to put my smart trainer against a set of power pedals and the results might be unexpected. In the world of Swift, power is the only currency that matters, but there's a gap between where you push the pedals and where the trainer measures. On today's test, I'm doing a training of 30 minutes, a mixed interval session. I have my Wahoo power training, sending data directly to Swift. And then I have my Magen power pedals recording to my bike computer, the Cuspo CS600. If the trainer reads lower than the pedals, that's drive train loss. If the pedals read lower than the trainer, then we have a calibration problem. Okay, let's kick off with the training. It's a basic uh, training where we start uh, in zone one for four minutes, then we are going for another four minutes in zone two, four minutes in zone three, then three minutes just above the FTP, one minute in zone five, and two per 30 seconds in zone six. So I use the erg mode to understand the, the plateau that I could reach, but if the power pedal will read more than the plateau. Okay, so we're going to switch power and then we are going to the activities just make sure your activities is there i can see mine today is over there 525 then you go on analysis and then you press create new data set then you have to use the feed file from swift so you can just select it from the windows menu and then you can put a name of your power through so i just put uh, wahoo power meter power trainer and then you pick the other file from the power uh, pedal I already downloaded and it's a fit file so you can easily download from your data if you use the by computer I put power pedals you can put the visibility private or public I don't mind uh, yeah let's put it public and then create data set okay and now voila uh, details here so you can see um, the elevation after seeing the elevation over there we just scroll a bit and then you can see swift out on southern coast cruise which is what i did it just a bit moved so you can see the purple line is the bow power trainer the power pedals are the blue one is a bit moved but we calculate the plateau of both so you can see already the analysis down there the average power normalized power and maximum power where the difference is quite a bit 2.6 percent 3.3 percent and plus 21 percent on the maximum power so let's say on 200 watts a 2.6 percent difference is already 5 watts and on a normalized power 3.3 we are talking about if we do an overall uh, normalized power let's say of 300 watts we are talking about already 10 watts difference so it's really quite a bit in terms of my wahoo trainer versus the power pedal unfortunately i can't uh, calibrate my uh, power trainer is one of them they they has a auto calibration so it's not really the best uh, and then the power pedals you can calibrate anytime you want and you can do use uh, zero calibration or also you can back pedal and do a different calibration but what is stuck to my eyes here is the very big difference in terms of watts so basically my power trainers is reading lower than actually what i am pushing but let's go and check other details to see if there's still a difference in the heartbeat rate and uh, Smash the like button and comment down below if you want me to test again against a race this time, the Swift Racing League race. Uh, the cadence, you can see it's pretty much similar, so the, it's a bit moved obviously, but you can see the line is one on top of each other, so the heart rate is perfect, 0, 064, so it's basically perfect. And then if we are going to check the cadence, scroll down a bit, 0 0.93. So again, the cadence is almost perfect, the matching. Uh, all those power pedals, they have an error margin of 1%, so we are within this range. In terms of the critical power, you can see a bit of difference here because there's erg mode, so it's way high the power, uh, the maximum power. And then if we go on the 30 seconds, we are on 11%, five minutes power is 3%, 
almost 4% on a 10 minutes power. So you can see the analysis prove the fact that they're really, really, really different. So if you have a calibration of your Wahoo power meter or your power meter, I would suggest you to go on the Swift and do a calibration. Unfortunately, if you don't have it like me, you might have to leave it on auto calibration. Stop guessing and start well recording. This is the only way to understand if your gears are taking away your gains or if they're boosting your power watts. And don't forget to check here my last 10 weeks of the FTP builder to see if I did increase my FTP or not.